of Purple Banditos and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version. I'm Purple Rodri. Today we are finally going to begin the last of the regions for us to explore and it is the Hoenn re region. I'm actually, you know, looking forward to this one. This is one of those regions that stand out for me, you know, from my childhood. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Yo, who's this cool looking fellow over here? Ha! Ah, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? All right, guys. Well, you might know who I am. I am actually a girl. I am a very young girl. I, I like to do girly things on my off time. I'm actually going to be using the boy character, as you know, most of you know. And let me go ahead and actually type out my name. So I'm going to be going with what I always do. I mean, I'm just going to go ahead and pop in Rodri, because that's who I am. You know, hi everybody, nice to meet you. If you're new around here, my name's Rodri, Purple Rodri. I'm kind of like a, a 007 at Pokemon. And by 007, I mean that's how many Pokemon I actually know, and that's how much I know about them. Here, Rodri, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. All right, guys, so with that, we are going to be taking our first step. Wait, step? Or are we driving? Why, why am I in the back of a truck? Hello? Did I get kidnapped? Did, did an evil man with a van offering candy put me in his trunk? Like, what is this? Hello? Can I get out of here? We've took our first step into the Hoenn region. Oh, there's our mother. Rodri, we're here, honey. It must be tiring with riding with our things in the moving truck. Look, mom, I, let me get this right right off the start. So you're telling me, you know, this is Little Root Town. That's fantastic. But you're telling me that I rode in, in the back of the truck when there's clearly a seat in the front, what kind of mother does that? My mother, okay? My mother. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Rodri. Let's go inside. I, I would hope I get my own room, mother. I'm guessing that we are 10 years old by now. See, Rodri, isn't it nice in here too? The movers Pokemon do all the work moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Rodri, your room's upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad bought you a new car. We have a dad in this game. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's like my childhood come true. <laughs> Actually having a father. That is slightly depressing. But let's head upstairs and yo, I'm rocking that purple GameCube. That is sick. That's actually what I used to have, no joke. Uh, I, I actually have a purple GameCube. I still remember the first day I got it too. I, ooh, let's withdraw. So sweet. There's the, the one potion you can always withdraw. I, I remember when I first got the GameCube, uh, it was the one that came with the Zelda retrospective. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about that, but it comes with the Zelda retrospective. And, you know, it, it brought like five different Zelda games and stuff. So I remember that night, I actually didn't even own a, a GameCube memory card at the time. So when I got it, I couldn't do anything. You couldn't save, I couldn't do anything. But I remember staying up late that night because I was like so freaking super duper excited that I was like, yeah, I finally got me a, a GameCube. And I just like played through through a game. Like I think it was like Majora's Mask or maybe even Zelda 2. And I played it so much and then I couldn't even save. So I was like, well, this is absolutely fantastic. What am I supposed to do? I ended up getting a memory card a few days later, but it was one of those memories, you know, like as a kid just staying up all night um, playing games. It was awesome. I, I miss that a lot, actually. I miss doing that sometimes. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town, Professor Birch. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourselves. So, uh, as you can see, our dad, apparently in this, is a gym leader, which is kind of cool. All right, who lives over here? Professor Birch's house. What up, Professor Birch? Are you in here? Where are you at? Um, are, are you chilling in here? Oh, hello, and you're... Oh, you're Roger, our new next-door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter. Oh, wait. You're telling me you have a daughter about my age? You gonna hook me up with your daughter? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Is she upstairs? I'm gonna go check it out. I'm gonna go check it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna check it out. Oh, look. She's got a GameCube, too. Oh, my gosh. She must be my soulmate. She's wearing green, too. What is this? 
Oh, who, who are you? Oh, you Rodri, so you moved us today. Um, I'm May, glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I heard about you, Rodri, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that we'd be nice, Rodri, and that we could be friends. You know, there's a bed right there, May. I'm just, like, really tired. I just rode, like, like I just had an eight-hour, you know, ride from, uh, from Kanto. I'm a little tired. I'm, I'm kind of down to just relax. Oh, you're gonna, oh, yep, this is my life. This is, this is my life. This is... This is how it goes. Okay, well, uh, see you later. I'm gonna go ahead and not not take May's Pokeball. Let, let's go ahead and dip out of here then, guys. So as you can see, I'm guessing May is Professor Birch's daughter. And if you were playing with a girl character, I'm thinking it would be vice versa. So I, I think it's a little something like that. Let's go check out the lab then. Yo, what up? Anybody in here? Hello? Anybody in here? Where is Professor Birch? Yo, do you know where he is? Professor Birch? He's on the field work. All right, let's go look for him in the field then. Yo, it's kind of strange. Did you guys ever notice that the professor's names are Oak, Sycamore? You know what I'm saying? You guys see this pattern? Birch, they, they're trees. And this town is called Little Root Town. So what could that mean? Could that mean that, huh, that, that there's some conspiracy going on here? Ooh, all right, well, it's apparently something going on. He's saying, help me. Is, is that Birch? Oh, that's definitely Birch. I see that dude with the cool looking, looking stash. Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. All right, guys. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. We're going to be choosing the starter, the boss of bosses, the person who is going to be helping us along our journey. And uh, the Pokemon that I'm going to go with is actually going to be, starts with a T. No, it doesn't. It's going to be Mudkip. So there we have it, guys. We have chose Mudkip. Uh, a lot of you guys suggested a lot of freaking Pokemon. I mean, I swear I probably saw a couple of people saying Pikachu at one point. All right, I think you got the wrong gen going on here, my friend. Uh, but as I said, we're going to go with Mudkip. A lot of you guys suggested Mudkip. I thought it would be good. It's nice to actually have a water type. And I know that Mudkip's actually going to be very helpful. And it's going to be pretty easy to build a team around Mudkip. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Okay, let's go ahead and use Tackle then. Oh, come on, man. Mudkip, please. Mudkip, please. Do you like Mudkips, guys? Do you, do you like Mudkips? I think you do. I, I must say, I personally do like Mudkips as well. All right, there we go. We defeated the Zigzagoon. Can I, can I give this Mudkip a nickname or what's up? Is it mine yet? Is it not? What's going on here? Oh, I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Uh, hi, you're Rodri. This is not the place. Dude, we just met like five minutes ago. D do you not remember asking my name? D do you not remember all this? What what's going on, man? So, Rodri, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with Aplom. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Rodri, receive the Mudkip, says Professor Birch in this voice. While you're at it, why not give a nickname? Okay, so we are going to be giving a nickname to the Mudkip. Uh, it actually took a lot of consideration, if I must say so myself. And I am actually going to name Mudkip... It's kind of like a girl name, but it doesn't matter. I guess you could do it. I'm going to name it after one of my favorite characters in the Avatar series, and I'm going to name it Katara. So I like that name, Katara. There we go. So with that, we have added Katara to our team. Bada ding, bada ding. You should see it. Katara on the right now. That's where I'm going to be showing you guys our team members, starting with our first one, uh, which we just added. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Rodri, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Sure, I'll, I'll check out May. Where's she at, man? Uh, is she back at your place, or what's up? I, I don't know. I, I, I know she's going to be our rival, so are we going to get to battle her, or are we going to, you know, do a little something else, like like hang out? Did I not just visit her, too? Hang on, let me go check upstairs again. I feel like I was just here, so I, I don't understand what the point is. Wait, is she gone? She's gone! All right, May's not here anymore, so let's go ahead and find May, then. Maybe... Just maybe we will have an opportunity at actually taking a girl out on a date in this region. I feel like Hoenn... Hey, look, yo, don't, don't... Ah, all right, I'm going to start avoiding trainers right off the start. I'm not, I'm not trying to do this. Yo, oh my gosh, thank goodness. For a second, I was like, are we actually going to have to battle? I'm not into that battle lifestyle yet. I know we're going to have a lot of battling coming up. But for now, I'm just trying to relax a little. I'm just trying to enjoy... Uh, you know the Hoenn region. It's a beautiful region as you can see. It's just gorgeous Like if you had been playing when I played 
um, like my Game Boy. You know, I had a Game Boy Color, so I had the chance to play games like Gold, Silver, and then I also had the chance to play like Red, Blue, Yellow. You know, and then the Game Boy Advance came out, and I actually had the original purple one, the, the big, thick purple one. That was uh, my Game Boy Advance before I got an SP. And when I first played through these games, um, it was just absolutely beautiful. Hang on, let's talk to May really quick. Let's see, the Pokemon found in Room 1 3 include... Oh, hi, Rodri! Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift! Since we're here, let's have a quick battle! I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like! Here we go, Rodri versus... May! Oh, we're gonna be battling our, our rival May for the first time. As I was telling you guys, you know, I had the big purple Game Boy Advance. That thick thing. You know, that thing was huge. You dropped it, it wouldn't break. But what I was trying to get at was, it was really nice getting to play, you know, Hoenn for the first time. Um, I have had the chance to play Hoenn. It's been a while since I played it, but I have played through Hoenn before. So I'm kind of looking forward to sharing this experience with you guys, because it has been a while. You know, I actually never really played through Emerald. I think I might have played through it, like, once. Uh, I don't even know if I beat it. The game that I played through for Hoenn, the original one I played through, was Ruby. I still have it to this day. Um, I think I don't really have a file on there because I used to just reset it and play it over and over. You know, things like that. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where my experience was with this. And it was just beautiful. Like, the first time I ever got to play through Hoenn, going from, you know, silver, uh, or, or going from gold, it just, it was absolutely amazing because, you know, it was different. It was so colorful. It was beautiful. And then, let me, like, not even begin to tell you when I put it into, S into the Game Boy Advance SP. It was, like, groundbreaking how beautiful this game was. So I have a lot of really warm memories towards it. You know, there's something really beautiful about this game. And I'm hoping that, you know, I'll really get the chance uh, to show you guys as we play through this. You know, I'm definitely going to need a lot of tips from you guys on building teams and, and doing those sorts of things. Because I want to build a really good team around Katara. So, you know, your tips are going to be absolutely priceless they're gonna help a lot throughout this and Hoenn is one of those regions that I know a fair bit but I can't say I know an insane amount you know I, I don't know a crazy amount about it but I, I do know quite quite a bit because it is one that I explored I love the music of this game I, I enjoy it a lot and I just know that you know I, hopefully you guys will be able to see how much I love this game uh, as we go through it let's head back inside the lab then because I think we're supposed to be talking to Professor Birch hey what's up man Oh, hi, Rodri. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May has been helping me with my research for a long time. May has an expensive history as a trainer already. Hey, Rodri, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. So with that, we have obtained the Pokedex. Let's, uh, gotta catch them all, you know what I'm saying? The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, we... we I, I think we get the gist of it. We basically have the Pokedex now. If you don't know what it does... What? It's Pokemon, man. Come on. You gotta know. Uh, if you do, we catch Pokemon, it records data. Oh, wow, Roger. You got a Pokedex, too. That's great. Just like me. I've got something for you, too. All right. So we obtained the Pokeballs. Thanks for giving me balls, May. I, I appreciate it. You're a sweet girl. It's fun if you can get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find a cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Okay, guys. So I'm pretty sure that with that, um, we are ready to continue on our adventure. And uh, I'm kind of excited because from here on out, we'll begin taking on towns, exploring a bunch of different things, and uh, maybe, just maybe, winning a couple gym battles. What's up, Mom? Wait, Rodri! Rodri, Rodri, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going on adventure, wear these running shoes. Yeah! All right, guys. So with that, we switch shoes. We got our running shoes. Rodri, those shoes came with instructions. Basically, now we can run around. I know. Who would have thought? Running shoes allow us to run. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed, but please... Be careful, if anything happens, you can come home! Hey, yeah, hey, hey, yeah. Thanks, Mom. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate it. Alright, with that, guys, we are done for today. Next time, we are going to be running our way into the next city, into the next town. This adventure is just beginning, so make sure to drop some tips on what Pokemon we should pick up along the way. You know, give me some hints. The journey's starting. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a blast, and I'm just looking forward to sharing all these awesome experiences in the Hoenn region with all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. You know, make sure to give this video a like. Next time, we're heading on up. Give me some tips on teammates. Maybe we'll pick some up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Oh, my baby! My little Rodri! Grow up so fast! <laughs>